how's it going people welcome back to the channel and welcome to another driving and talking style video i've been enjoying these kinds of videos recently just because i know i get to go out in my car the weather's a little bit better and i just get to do some driving and chatting to you guys about topics that i find interesting obviously friday videos will remain being much more informative style videos and i want my tuesday videos to be more about opinion where i can add opinion or where i think i can opine on stuff and so recently i've been thinking a lot about car youtube particularly car youtube here in the uk uh, and the current state of it as a result of the pandemic that is ongoing. Now I'm gonna try and make this video without naming too many names. I, I will probably will mention the people that I watch on YouTube slash the internet because I watch them and I find them interesting. And to be perfectly honest, I watch almost every single other car YouTuber on the platform just because I'm interested in knowing what's going on uh, and also just like seeing what kind of content clicks with them and what their viewers like to watch. But anyway, before I start rambling on about all that kind of stuff, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm not sure I really like the term YouTuber or influencer or any of those kinds of words, but ultimately I've been doing car YouTube now since like 2018 or whatever, and I've had a level of success as in I've had you guys watching my videos now since around about 2018, sort of the end of the year. And in that time, it's been a massive learning experience, like trying to understand how to conduct yourself on the internet, what you can and can't say, what people are interested in watching doing and what they're not interested in watching you do and all the other kind of stuff. And it's all very difficult and very interesting uh, and I love the challenge of being on YouTube but obviously very recently one thing that has affected a lot of cars YouTubers myself included has been a global pandemic which has come with restrictions around it as to what we can and cannot do now obviously different YouTubers have uh, played with the rules to different levels so some people have taken it as like well ultimately this is our form of work this is how we make our money so it's okay if we sometimes uh, maybe meet with people in places because we're recording a video or doing all that kind of stuff I've tried to err on the side of caution as best as possible and I've turned down a lot of opportunities that I could have otherwise taken because of a pandemic I basically don't want to be seen to be out doing loads of amazing fun car stuff driving incredible cars and chatting to all these owners and basically flaunting social distancing rules and whatever uh, whilst everyone else is kind of sitting at home trying to uh, be or abide by the rules basically with all the stuff recently but in particular around like influencers going out to Dubai and doing all that other kind of stuff it feels like you're flaunting those same rules just in the UK still and so yes I'm supposed to be driving a BMW i8 a BMW M5 uh, a really nice Astra VXR a few other cool cars that I've spoken to people around and I'd have loved to have brought you that content with those cars but I really just haven't wanted to break any of the real social distancing rules uh, or at least I, I like as best as I possibly can basically even though to some degree it would be legal obviously because we're doing it for the sake of work and we're using it to make an income or whatever I just I don't know I, I can I can still make a, a decent income off of YouTube and I can still make decent content while sitting in my bedroom a lot of my videos are based on me just sitting in my bedroom making content now as I said some YouTubers have within their own rights gone out and made all sorts of great content and I think there are a lot of key winners over this time you can see there are some people who have managed to maintain a high level of content let's let's, let's name some names thinking of Shmi for example he's been able to go out and do some really great content still uh, and, and he's been able to fly around the world and I'm sure that there's been plenty of opportunities that he's missed as a result of lockdown but ultimately he's been able to still go out and make some good content some of the other UK youtubers who rely on doing like lots of fun stuff together like lots of the guys who go out to Monaco and do all that kind of like Monaco supercar season stuff I think a lot of them have struggled to maintain like a good set of that high level of content that they're normally able to put out and again that's no disrespect to them the pandemic has curtailed a lot of that stuff that would have otherwise happened in some countries where restrictions haven't been quite as savage or they've been able to go out and do more stuff in cars the content has generally remained pretty similar over the pandemic and they've obviously been impacted to some degree but maybe not quite as much as we have here in the UK I think in the UK YouTube car market there there has been a lot of potential losers particularly those people that rely on that very social outward supercar style content yeah normally they'd be putting out really funny really interesting content and now they have to somehow make videos sitting on their own in cars like I'm currently doing right now and they will have viewers that are expecting that kind of content and they're no longer getting it and so they're not watching as much of it and it's all just a big spiral on YouTube so This car is so much fun to drive, man. Like, I just love getting out in it for a quick, a quick blast. I 
also think that there have been some winners in the car YouTube world that do certain types of videos. So for example, I would say that maybe Car Throttle have been able to carry on making their very high level of content as best as possible throughout lockdown. I've actually done really well in terms of gaining subscribers and views and all that good stuff. I think that I'm probably a winner as a result of lockdown as well because my content doesn't really rely on spending all of my time out in cars and lots of it obviously is that more informational stuff where I do a whole bunch of research and then kind of work from there. I think that there, there really is, that's a really cool TBR over there big respect to that. Yeah, I think that I'm someone who's also done very well out of lockdown. I've been at home as normal, making my videos in my bedroom as normal, and the the content hasn't really changed too, too much. Like I try and make my videos better over time, but ultimately it's, this, it's like a similar situation with every video. So I would say that I probably am a winner out of lockdown because I haven't had to suddenly uproot my whole channel and do a big 360 on my content to try and work out what I can actually do and what I can keep you guys interested in watching. And yes, I definitely feel very lucky to be in that situation. I think now moving forwards for car YouTubers, just like in any other industry with any other business, how can you operate still and maintain the level of views and keep people interested in times like this. So just like a shop needs to be thinking, if I can't have people come through my doors, how can I still make money? How can I still make profit? Car YouTubers in the UK in particular have to think about how can I keep people interested in coming to my channel and watching videos when I can't do my bread and butter content. And similarly, I need to think about post lockdown when people have more time on their hands to be out and about and having fun what is going to make people want to come and watch my videos and take time out of their days to actually come and watch my videos what what kind of interesting crazy fun stuff can i do that is going to keep people interested above and beyond the stuff that i do by researching and sitting in my bedroom i don't know man i find this stuff all really interesting because i have i come from uh, a consulting background and i'm really into business and i'm really into entrepreneurialism i just find this kind of stuff when you have a problem like this uh, very interesting and it's like quite a difficult one to solve because lots of these car youtubers will have been sitting in a situation where they would have been I don't know just they, they would have just been relying on their one type of content that gets them views I know exactly how that feels I can rely on my top tens top five videos to continue to get me half decent views because I know that it's like what I'm good at and what you guys find interesting to watch and also does well with YouTube algorithm etc when I make videos like this I don't expect them to do so well in the same way um, but I think be a clever and intelligent and useful and successful youtuber you need to be able to have people's buy-in to multiple different types of content is, is my thought process moving forward. And so how do you get that buy-in? Do you get that buy-in by working really hard on different types of content and producing incredible quality content in whatever space you do so that people respect the quality maybe and so they, they, they watch your videos because they like the quality? Or is it the case that you really up the personality for the side of YouTube so you get people really interested in your personality and so it doesn't matter what video you put out, they're there because they want to watch you? Or is it the case that you slowly bring in other types of content so you do your bread and butter content but then you also start adding in just a little bit of a difference here and there and then with those little differences you uh you start to i don't know develop a different audience i think there's there's there's, there's so many potential ways of doing this and i just find it all very interesting and so yeah it's not a wider or complaint whatever i'm just more generally interested in the future of uk car youtube which youtubers are going to come out and be able to make that perfect content become like the stradmen of the uk where stradman can put out basically any type of video and it does does absolute bits it does numbers which uk car youtubers are going to be the ones that are going to be able to pull that kind of stuff here in the uk irrespective of circumstances irrespective of lockdowns irrespective of who they have on the videos like what cars they have Who's gonna be able to be those staple car YouTubers in the UK that pull content? I don't know, I have no idea. But obviously we have a few at the moment. Oh, hang on one sec, almost forgot. Have to do it. So to summarize, car YouTube in the UK has been struggling as a result of the pandemic, as you might expect, because people can't go out and make some of the content they were planning on doing. Now moving forwards, car YouTubers need to think about how can they be successful irrespective of the circumstances around them? What is it that's gonna make their content absolute fire? regardless of whether they have to be at home, in their car, with their friends, in Monaco, traveling the world, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see who manages to succeed in that sense. Anyway, hopefully I've been able to turn all of that ramble into a half decent video. I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts out around the whole uh, potential 
for UK car YouTube moving forwards. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. A massive thanks to the patrons for their continued support and to you guys as well for watching. I will see you in the next one.